speak student. There's a curse on our village. The curse of Frankenstein. Frankenstein a la Schmuck. What is the narrative structure of Frankenstein? So the narrative structure of Frankenstein is incredibly complicated, and it's part of why it's so fun to read. First, let's talk about why it's written in the form of letters. Uh, any novel that's written in letter form is called an epistolary novel. This word epistle just means letter. Um, it's like a fancy word for saying letter. At the time, most novels were written in epistolary form. This isn't, it wasn't something new. Clarissa, Pamela, Dracula, these were all epistolary novels. Mm -hmm. The reason that stories were written in an epistolary fashion is because it made it seem a little bit more real. Uh, we come across a letter and it's like, oh, well, someone wrote this letter and kind of gives us the, the sense that, that what's happening is a little truer. You know, in reality TV, you can have like a shaky camera and stuff like that to make it feel more real. What they did is they had a pistol. That was their confessional. Exactly. You know, even novels that weren't straight up letters would start with some frame story. So the frame story is, you know, the story that surrounds the actual kind of plot of the novel. And a lot of novels would have this frame story that would be like, oh, I stumbled across a journal and that's how I'm getting all this information. And then they tell the story. And it just gives it a little bit more sense of, of reality. Frankenstein is a particularly cool one because it's not just letters, it is so many layers of narrative. So at one point in the novel, you have the DeLacy's are hanging out and the monster is telling their story and Victor Frankenstein is quoting the monster story to Walton on the boat who's recording it and writing it to his sister. So you have like, I don't know, Walton's phone sister, tag. exactly, it's phone tag, it's Walton's sister, Walton, uh, Victor Frankenstein, Frankenstein the DeLacy's. So you have like four or five layers of, of narration here. And yeah, like you're saying, it's kind of this idea that by the time it gets to Walton's sister, how much of it is real anymore? Yeah. So it's kind of this fun, you know, tug of war between, oh, it's, it's real, it's letters, it's written in the epistolary form. And then it's like, oh, but you know, it went through six layers of narration to get there. Hmm. Okay, cool. Highly filtered. Mm. What is an epistolary novel? What is the advantage of writing in this form? When it comes to Frankenstein, what is the drawback of this form? 